Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customising the Canis Terminus in GTA Online. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be customising this, it's uh, based on the new Jeep Rubicon, it's basically a new version of the Mesa, which we've had in the game since day one. In the last episode we built this race inspired Galavanta Baller STD, so make sure to go check that video after this. But today we're going to be building the Canis Terminus, so let's jump into this thing, take it up to the auto shop and see what kind of parts are available for it. All right, guys, here we are in the custom shop. Um, we've got our lovely Canis Terminus here in this hot pink color. We're going to be changing that up for sure. This is just the color it came in on the website. Um, so we'll be changing that up. Today, I want to go for an off-road build with this. Um, it is based on the Jeep Rubicon, as I said. They're very well known for off-roading. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and build this thing. So we start off with arch covers, we can go for some primary painted arch covers, we can remove them all together, that's an unusual look. Uh, we can go for slim arches, we've got the painted slim version, and then we've got the heavy duty arches, and we've got a primary version of those. Um, I think I'm going to leave the stock ones, but do we go ahead and paint them with the primary colour? No, I'm going to leave them plastic because that looks a bit more off-roady in my opinion. Uh, we'll go for full armor and full brakes. Front bumper options to start with. We have the stock bumper. We can go for a cropped bumper, which basically just removes some of the side parts of the standard. Um, I guess to match those thinner wheel arches. We can then go for bull bars, which is just the stock bumper with that extra little bull bar on top. We've got a mount bar. We've got mount bar with spotlights. That looks pretty cool. I like that. We've got the cropped bumper with the mount bar and with the spotlights as well. Then we've got the heavy duty bumper and we've got a primary painted version of that. I like the heavy duty bumper. That looks pretty cool with the sort of uh, the tow loops on there. So we'll go with that. The rear bumper, we've got the stock. We can go for a heavy duty bumper. We got a painted version of that. Then we got the utility bumper and the painted utility. I guess we'll go for the utility to match the front bumper. It does also like move the number plate to the side, which is quite cool. Doors next. We have the stock doors. We can go for door protectors. We can go for the tube doors. Uh, this is similar to one of the other cars in the game that I can't remember the name of right now. Uh, one of the other Canis vehicles. Those of you will be screaming at me in the comment section. Uh, we've got the tube doors short. We've got tube doors aftermarket. Tube lightweight panels. No lock tube doors. Tube short doors. Mesh tube doors. Tube web doors. And padded tube net doors. This is if you want to go for like a rally build i guess i've never really been a fan of these like tubular off-road doors i just like the stock sort of look so we're gonna leave that engine options we'll go for level four tuning we don't have any engine sort of visual options exhaust uh don't think we can actually see the stock exhaust oh yeah you can just see it under the number plate it's just sticking out we can go for the twin coated exhaust. We can go for the twin chrome exhaust. The quad coated and the quad chrome. Um, not really a fan of any of those. I'm actually just going to leave the stock exhaust. Um, I don't think you need to see the exhaust on a vehicle like this. Uh, grill options. We have actually got separate grill options on this car. Unlike the Baller STD that we customized in the last episode so we can go for the canted lights so you can actually go for the uh 
like the real life Jeep Wrangler sort of like aftermarket angry face look. Uh, this is like a thing you can get on real life Jeep Wranglers. Um, we've got the carbon grill, uh, which still keeps the angry eyes. We got the aftermarket grill, which just fills in that top grill there. Uh, we got the carbon aftermarket grill. We got the half tone aftermarket grill. So like the top half is pink, the bottom half is carbon. That's quite cool. We got the aggressive grill, the painted aggressive grill, carbon aggressive grill. Then we got the heavy duty grill. You can actually go for like a Jeep style grill. Um, we got the painted heavy duty, carbon heavy duty, and that is actually all of the options. That it does also add some extra little lights um, underneath the, you know, the main headlights as well. And I just noticed that there's lights in the bumper as well. So when we go outside, we'll check whether any of those work. So I want to go for one of these options with the lights, but um, oh, I quite like the half, was it this one, the half tone? That looks kind of cool, but I kind of want to go for one of these with the lights in. I guess we'll go for the painted heavy duty grill. Uh, what's the difference with this one? Oh, that's just like black plastic. Uh, yeah, we'll go for this one because I want to check whether those lights actually work. Um, they have been working on some of the vehicles that we've been customizing, and then some of them they haven't. So we'll check whether they work when we go outside. Did it actually add any lights to the rear bumper? No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, hood options next. We got the stock hood. We got the carbon overlay. We got the school overlay, camo, and then we got the utility hood. We got the vented hood, vented with carbon overlay, with schools and with camo. Then we got the cowl hood. We've got the limited edition hood. I'm sure this is based on like a real life Wrangler hood or something. Uh, but I'm not really a fan of any of those. I'm just going to leave the stock hood. I think that looks good enough. Horn and lights, we're just going to leave those. Um, we'll check whether those lights work when we go outside, like I said. Livery options. We can go for the Enduro Fortes. Uh, so it's like you can make it into an army jeep if you want. We got the Canis Geometric. We got Wiz Off-Roading. That's quite cool. I like that. We've got the Hard Stand Trip-In. Okay, that's a bit unusual. We've got the Street Styler if you want to make it into like a street build we've got the PRB camo I'm not a fan of that and we got the PRB camo version 2 uh, then we got the hardcore 4x4 which is sort of like a race livery I guess which is kind of cool if you want to go for that we got the vibrant ferocity we got the Ferocity Washout, which is sort of the same, but it's a bit more of a monochrome look. And that is actually all of them. I'm going to leave it standard because I want to go for a... Um, I want to go for like a lime green, I think, will look good on this thing. So we'll come back to that. Uh, plate options. I'm just going to leave a standard plate. Uh, let's go ahead and paint this thing lime green and just see how it looks. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good in lime green, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and change the secondary to lime green as well. Let's have a look how it looks, otherwise we'll just go for black. Um, lime green. Uh, hmm. I did think that would look quite good, but I'm now thinking that we should just go for black. We'll just go matte black, I think, with that. And we'll go for matte grey. That matches the bumpers and stuff a little bit better. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, trim options. We can actually change the interior trim. So let's go ahead and paint that lime green and see how that looks. Whether that's going to be too much lime green. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of lime green. Uh, don't know whether I like that or not, to be honest. 
no, I think we're just going to leave that standard. Uh, roof options. So we can, we have this sort of like hard top. We can go ahead and remove that. We can go for a painted roof if you want like a hard top. So I guess this is like a soft top sort of version. You've got the roof delete and then you can go for like a hard top. We've got the canted roof. That's quite cool. I wasn't expecting that. We've got a painted version of that. And we also have the Safari Nets. I actually do like just the stock roof. I know we're using a lot of stock parts on this, but I just think it looks pretty cool as it is. So we're going to leave the roof options. Skirt options. We've got the stock skirt. We can go for... These are all going to be side steps, I'm guessing. We've got the slatted skirt. We've got the tube steps. We've got the tube protection, so we've got some like rock sliders. We've got the nerf bars, stinger sets. Ugh, I can't say that. Stinger steps, and we've got the heavy duty. Uh, I'm gonna go for the tube protection. These like rock sliders, they're pretty cool. Uh, spare wheel options. We've got the stock spare wheel. We can go for a spare wheel cover. We got painted wheel cover and a carb version of that. You can remove the wheel or you can have the utility mount. Um, I'm going to go for the wheel cover because I'm going to change the wheels up. So it's, it's not going to change the rear wheel option. I just know it won't. But then it's not going to match the other wheels. So I'm just going to cover it up because I want to have the spare wheel there. It looks quite cool. Um, but it's not going to match the other wheels otherwise, so we'll just cover it up. We'll go for a race transmission and turbo tuning, and then we'll go ahead and find some off-road wheels for this. I'll go and have a little look, pick some nice wheels out and paint them, and then we'll take this thing outside. Right, I've gone for these wheels, they're called the Concaved Rally Masters. They've got some nice little bead locks on there. Um, they look pretty like cool and I've gone ahead and painted them black as well to match all of the trim uh, So I'm pretty happy with how that looks uh, We'll go ahead and put bulletproof tires on this Do we want to go for some tire lettering? Uh, yeah, I guess we can go for some tire lettering it looks the tire lettering on the off-road wheels looks pretty good uh, Do we want to go for a little bit of smoke? Or do I like it? I guess since we're going for an off-road build, we'll leave it. Um, oh, we've got windshield accessories. I wasn't expecting that. So we've got snorkel. We've got improvised snorkel. We can go for a light bar. We've got windshield armor. And we've got painted windshield armor. I like the light bar. That looks pretty cool. So I guess we'll go for that. It's a shame we can't have like a primary light bar because I don't like those big black bits up the side. But we'll check whether the light bar works. Uh, let's go ahead and take this thing out onto the street. We'll test its off-road capability as well and open up all the doors and have a little look inside. So I've just found out as well that this vehicle, the Canis Terminus, it can be upgraded at the agency with the Amani tech which I didn't actually know uh, when I just came outside now it told me that so you can fit like the uh, missile lock-on jammer and the remote control features and armor plating and all that good stuff so if you are planning to drive this thing around then that is something to be aware of um, first thoughts on this thing I wanted to go for like a Jeep trail cat sort of build with this I know it's based on a Rubicon but I wanted, uh, like, with the colour and the wheels and stuff, um, and some of the options were, like, the trail cap. Uh, so that was sort of the build I was going for. Let's go ahead and open up all the doors and stuff. Okay, let's have a little look around the vehicle, starting with the engine bay. Um, it's got a pretty detailed engine cover in there, but around the sides it is a very low texture. But the rest of the car, the outside is quite high texture like look at those bolts and stuff that's pretty cool um the interior i'm sure is probably just taken from the messer i i don't really know i don't really drive much in first person so 
correct me if I'm wrong, that steering wheel is tiny as well. That looks ridiculous. Um, it is a four-seater vehicle, so you can take your friends with you. If you're planning on doing some heists and stuff, then you could use this as a heist vehicle. I do like how the back opens, though. You can open, like, the tailgate opens to the side, and then the window actually opens as well. So that's pretty cool. So unfortunately, the little lights in the grill and also in the bumper do not actually work. Um, the light bar on the top does, which is cool. So if you apply that as an option, um, and the main headlights obviously work, but the lower, um, the lower grill lights and bumper ones do not, which is a little bit of a shame. I do like it when you apply the extra light options and they actually do work. Alright, so here we are at Lago Zancudo. Uh, it's near the military base. It's a little bit foggy, uh, but this is a good place to test vehicles off-roading. Uh, see how they do. There's some deep water, there's some good climbs, there's like muddy bits like this. So uh, let's go ahead and test this thing in some water first of all. This is not very deep water so it's not going to test it that much. But it got through there absolutely fine. Um, let's go ahead and find some deeper water here. Uh, this will be quite deep I imagine. Let's drive it around in here. Yeah it seems pretty okay with that. Let's submerge it under. Okay it gets through there pretty well. So it's pretty good in the deep water. Um, I don't know if this thing actually, like whether the snorkel on this thing actually works or not. Uh, some of the vehicles it does, some of the vehicles it doesn't. Now ahead of us here we've got a nice steep climb. So let's give this a go. Uh, we'll just stop at the bottom. And then we're just going to go ahead and drive this thing up here. And it gets up that like really easily. So this thing is pretty good at climbing. I don't know if you noticed at the bottom though. It doesn't have a great departure angle. So what I mean is when you go up a slope uh, with this bumper. The front and rear bumpers overhang a little bit. So this thing does scrape just a little bit. Um, downhill braking is pretty good at downhill braking. It is actually stopping. And if I hit reverse, you can actually reverse back up the hill as well. So this thing has a lot of torque and a lot of grip, which is really good. Uh, but it doesn't have the best ground clearance. I've tried to um, keep this thing as high as possible. Obviously, I've not gone to lower this thing. I've gone for like the highest bumper options that I can. Because uh, I was going for an off-road build with this thing. So that is where this vehicle will struggle a little bit. You can see it does scrape every once in a while. Um, it is also a four-door vehicle. So it's a little bit longer um, in terms of off-road vehicles. But it's pretty good. Uh, I like the look of this thing. It is actually a vehicle that I would keep. Um, so let me know what you guys think of the new Canis Terminus. Are you happy that Rockstar added this to the game? Or are you not really bothered? Let me know in the comment section. And let me know what you think of my customization. Um, do you like the build that I've gone for? Or do you think I should have gone for something else? That's going to do it for today's video though. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video.